Hi, I'm Jay Shambo, City Administrator here with Travis Thal, Water Utility Manager for the City of West Bend. Travis, tell us a little bit about yourself and your history with the water utility. Sure, I, I've, been, I've been with the water utility about 15 years. Uh, started out as an operator, uh, graduated into a coordinator, uh, operations coordinator, where I kind of ran the crew a little bit. Um, and then about last, about eight months ago, I got promoted to manager. And as manager, you oversee all operations, including the one going on behind us today. Tell us a little bit about what's happening here today. Sure. Uh, first, we, we Mike Yench, uh, park superintendent, will call us wanting a hydrant replaced. And what we'll do is from there, we'll, we'll set it up as an ordering hydrant, ordering of necessary parts to uh, fix that hydrant. Uh, there's, then what we'll do is we'll call it a locate, digger's hotline. That's the number one priority. We don't dig until that is, is located. So we locate all the electrical, gas, all, and including our stuff, the water and sewer. Um, from there, we will dig down to the depth, typically about six and a half feet is usually the, the depth of a hydrant. Um, once we get that all exposed, we typically will put shoring in of some sort to protect our guys. Um, there we'll, we have a chainsaw type of uh, ductile iron saw that we actually cut the hydrant free from the, what they call a hydrant lead, uh, or the ductile iron pipe. Uh, there we grab the new hydrant, we lower it in, we install it, uh, bolt it on. From there, we make sure it's plumb, square, everything. Uh, add number one stone, approximately a foot over minimum. That's our philosophy. And then we backfill. Uh, you can use it. Uh, what they're going to use here today is they're just going to use the spoils that they pulled out from they originally started digging. And once that's done, the parks department will come and seed it. And in about a couple months from now, you'll never know that uh, it was ever done. And that hydrant will be good for the next X amount of years? We have hydrants in the city from the 30s. So it's, a long yeah. time. And our citizens knowing that they have safe water, they're knowing that you folks are out there on a daily basis, testing that water is obviously clearly important. Maybe just a few more words on that and how you can, the process to reassure them that they're drinking safe and clean water. Yeah, it's, it's not only is it important to them, it's important to us also. I mean, we take, like I said, we take great pride in our water. We do 30 back tea samples a month. Uh, we do residuals weekly. Uh, consisted of chlorine residuals and polyphosphate residuals. Uh, we monitor our fluoride every day to make sure it's in the proper limits. So tell us about the well station, the towers, and the other parts of your operation. We have nine, nine well houses, five towers. Uh, specifically, our oldest one is in the 1930s. Uh, that one is uh, our well house number four. It's, it's one of our highest producing wells. Uh, we, we can produce about 1,600 gallons a minute. Um, it's a artesian well, it's, so it's a free-flowing well actually. And back when it was originally built, the well, the head of the well, was actually four feet lower than it originally is right now. Um, as you'll see, the well head's much higher. There's actually a little basement crawl space area where uh, that well is uh, located, and it's a well that we won't have too much worry about. Nice. Yeah. And the tower. Uh, tower, uh, um, every, the iconic tower of West Bend. Everybody sees the West Bend logo on the side. Um, that's a million gallon tower. Um, it feeds our north side of our central system. That was a little bit hard to say, but it's, um, it's, it's one, of our, one of the two biggest towers we have. Uh, our other one, we have a standpipe, which is about two million. But our 10th Avenue, we refer to the 10th Avenue, the West Bend logo. You see it from every direction when you enter the city of West Bend. Thanks for joining us, Travis, for this episode of The City. At our next episode, we'll have Jeff Yoder, our city assessor.